Come on. Yeah, two fuel. Local system map. Let's do unidentified first and then hit up the Omni Forge. It's true. Anyone with a goatee is Chris. Even though I no longer a goatee, now it's now it's a, a luscious beard. I've grown it out. Civilian ships here! Incoming message. Wow, it's it's me again. <laughs> An Imperial ship, what a relief. I'm stuck out here with no Neo N. Mind if I borrow some so I can get out of here? Why are these poor sons crying? Lazarus, how's it going? Uh, let's offer a trade because I'm greedy. Maybe we could trade. Oh yeah, it's a real possibility. In fact, I'm carrying a battleship weapon in my hull. But yours for a fair amount of Neo N. Yes. You have yourself a deal. That's great, Admiral. Funny. I was going to con you, but I don't know. I guess I've changed my mind. I'll give you a weapon that actually works. End of transmission. We got a dark matter cannon, Mark 1. Alright, to the Omni Forge. Going well enough? I'm glad it's going well enough. I'm alright. I'll be honest with you, Admiral. I'm gonna need a good reason not to end you. Pirate ship, huh? Say you're trying to turn the Omnis back on. Wait, why would the pirates give a shit about that? Yeah, we would use our weapons that do work if you gave me a broken weapon. Listen, I'm not afraid of the pirates. We can kill them immediately. We could try and make a deal. We could tell them we're turning the Omnis back on. Or we could offer them the chance to surrender, which means we'll go into combat immediately. Yeah, why would they give one pirate shit about it? At first, I was like, everyone wants the Omnis back on, but they're pirates. They thrive in a lawless environment, and we represent turning law back on by flipping the switch on robots. Let's try and make a deal with the pirate. I mean, we can make a deal. The only kind of deal we make is the one side variety. Give me some Neo N, or oh, it's your life. Oh, fuck you guys, let's fight. That's a deal I can't make. We have to throw down, then. Alright, good. Let's fucking obliterate you. I don't think you realize how built for combat I am. What are these? Turrets. Are these enemy turrets? Oh my. That could be a problem. I don't know if they target anyone or if they work for them. You had a good sandwich in Seattle? Tell me all about that sandwich. Yeah, pirates should definitely learn not to engage in fights. They are not 100% sure they're going to win. Yep, they're immediately aiming for me. Let's send the boomers in toward these. Wait, you're my shredder. Actually, I don't want you going there. I want you going there. I want you going there. I want you going straight for the hull. Get back in there, boomers. Let's get my parasites out. And my nanos out. Alright, parasite, go after them. Nanos, go after them. Keep my giant battering ram alive, please. While I wait for my gun system to come online. Oh god, it's gonna blow up before my gun system's online. I'm sad. Get my shredders back out there. I want more money. Let's get some Mark II boomers out there. Which is rare because the only place you can normally get a good sandwich is in a New York style deli in New York. I mean, New York delis make real good fucking sandwiches. Yep, there it goes. I figured we wouldn't get it out in time. Real shame. But my space bender's ready, so once that thing's ready to go again. These stupid drones they had out here were really annoying. These turrets, rather. I 
All right, get in there. Hit the squadrons. Oh, you piece of shit. Parasites, boomers. Stop shooting my ship, you pieces of garbage. Like that? Oh, you are you ignoring me? I wouldn't ignore me if I were you. Come on. Yes. Very large fuck off drill. You go for squadrons. Uh, I want frigates. Actually, they have fighters out, don't they? Oh no, we're fine. Yeah, yeah. It's another frigate. And boomer mark twos would be nice for blowing things up. And hey, space bender. Oh, it's immune? I can't actually teleport it? That's a bummer. I can destroy these stupid things. The parasite's back out there. Come on, big ship, I believe in you. I would really like to destroy that stupid thing. It hits my ships when they deploy. This is the closest fight we've had so far. Fuck that thing. Blow it up. Yes! Ramming speed! Finally, we're gonna hit him. How many Boomer Mark II's ready to go? Uh, Mark One Boomers. You out there. Yeah! Ramming speed! Juggernaut just hit their weapons. Mmm! Oh, it hurt. It hurt them. I would like to get through this fight without losing one level of hull. Oh, no, they blew up. They found out we were having fun over here. Yeah, stopping me from teleporting my large grinding machine. Got their meatball sub with no cheese and a multigrain loaf the size of your arm. Unbelievably good and fed you for several meals. That sounds great. Turns out the teleporter is pointless if it can't teleport my juggernaut. They stole one scrap from me, but I got 70. I don't know why you would get a meatball sub without cheese, but if you're lactose intolerant, I would I would understand that. Mark two boomers back on the bar. Replace Nana with Mark two boomers. Keep my giant juggernaut because I like it. My space bender is no longer as exciting as I thought. I can't believe it doesn't work. I wish, I wish it would say somewhere on there that doesn't work on frigate. This unit movement cannot be altered by positive or negative effects. Oh, well, there you go. That's why. The end to a temporal engine is why. I'm going to sell the space bender and buy a better weapon when we get to a shop. I don't understand. Don't need cheese. Doesn't doesn't make any sense to me. Speed doesn't go up. Damage goes up though, and it's almost one full amount of health bar if it hits. So I'm gonna upgrade the juggernaut. Eh. 
And let's get another Mark 1 Boomer up to a Mark 2 Boomer. There we go. I'll hold on to five. Well, actually, let's look at the star map. I got one more jump to go. You know what? Let's let's upgrade one more thing before we leave. That'll bring me down to three. I'll move. I'll have two fuel left, and we're immediately going to arrive where we could buy fuel. So yeah, I could afford to upgrade something. Either two more Mark 1s to Mark 2s, which might be nice, or make a Mark 2 a Mark 3. Or upgrade my Parasite. Taco Shells and Cheese? It's a good name. You like a pure ball experience? <laughs> If you're liking the meatballs, you're loving the sausage. Gonna be targeted. Tractor beam. The nanos are good and disruptive, but I think I just want more Mark II boomers. The more boomers are Mark II, the better. We just rapid fire those bad boys out of our out of our ducks. Let's also make it so we can get things out there faster. Close. Star map. Alright. Let's go. Next cardinal boat. It's a cardinal, sir! My holy destroyer's been blessed by the high priests and is ready for carnage. These are your last rites. Admiral, now might be a good time for me to make an appearance before this cardinal attacks us. Go ahead, machine. Maybe we can avoid this battle yet. Hello, cardinal. What are you? I am an Omni. At 187, I am old enough to have seen the Omnis. You do not resemble them in the slightest. I am unique, it's true, but I assure you, I too am an Oberon machine. No, this is a trick. You have crew members inside that metal, pulling levers and pushing buttons. I've seen vulgar shows before, I confess. Now, Admiral, the time has come to atone for your sins. You may start by dying in an enormous ball of flame. Sorry, Admiral. I tried. I guess some people wouldn't recognize a god even if they were in a transmission with one. Good luck, Admiral. Alright, what are they working with here? Cruiser Mark III Longbow. Frigate Mark III. Oh, it's the weapons that are going to be upsetting. Matter destabilizer, hull breaker, executioner, engine disruptor. Yeah, we got we got some bad things. And they have three holes going on. Let's replace you with the nanos. Put my big boy out there. Even if it's just a large distraction. The big boy is nice. Oh, my nano to go after that. And my boomers to go after those. Ideally, before the weapons come online and fire. Oh, you did it already. Well, I can go blow that up. All right, get into the weapon system. Oh, fuck up their cruiser for me. I'll redeploy some Mark II boomers. Uh-oh. Where'd 
Where'd the boomers go? I teleported them, but I don't know where they are anymore. Come on. You know what? Go for the weapon systems. It's closer. Oh my god, I think it might make it. Yes! Mmm! Fuck them up! Delicious. Uh, Mark II Boomers. Mark II Boomers. It's all about overwhelming them with large numbers of explosions. Get the Nanos out there, they're nice and disruptive. And the Ramming Frigate. Oof. Uh, Mark II Boomers. Mark II Boomers. I feel like I could actually sell most of my Mark I Boomers at this point. They didn't even make it out there. God. I hate their big guns. Get the nanos and parasites. Not looking good. I mean, yeah, they're they're pounding me with their weapons, which is unfortunate. There. But I have a laser too, and I'm gonna use it soon. Ship blow up? What a shame. Oh, there goes one bar. You know what? Focus on their weapon systems, actually. Don't, don't return. That was a misclick. Uh, Mark II Shredder, Mark II Prototype. Oh, just shooting at him. Now that was handy. Get in there. Oh, uh, they're gonna blow it up. Yeah. Not unexpected. Get rid of that. Oh, not Mark 1 boomers. No, no, no. Mark 2 boomers. Oh! I gotta destroy their weapon systems. I don't like that longbow. Mark two boomers. All right, you weapon systems, you weapon systems, you weapon systems, take those weapons off fucking line. Give me the frigate and get me the shredders. There we go. Weapon systems. Weapon systems. Weapon systems. Weapon systems. Alright, in that case... Docks. Let's apply some fucking heat! There we go! 
Fuck your boats. Listen, just distract them until we get the good guys out there. Good guys in this case being played by the juggernaut I want to slam into them. Listen, I don't want to lose another level of hull here. Yes, distract them. Damn it! Where are my Mark II boomers? Bring them back out. And they got some cruisers, so we want some fighters in here. But some systems are almost recharged, don't like that. And my nanos. They're out of defensive now, I like that. Get the parasites back. Are you my fighters? Oh, good Christ, they're just tearing through me. But I still have more health. Oh, no, it's close. Fuck, they have so many guns! They're big guns, too! Oh, they're hiding out because they're trying to heal. I won't let that happen. Mark two boomers, uh, teleport this guy closer. Come on. God, they just tear through me. Mark two boomers. Parasites. No, I'd rather get more boomers out there. At least I'm resistant to that nonsense. Oh! Come on, big boy. Of course not. Fuck you. Ooh, it's scary. Scary fight. I can get anything into hull range, that's really what we're looking for. Like, don't even focus on their fighters, just do hull damage if possible. Yes, good, good, good. I'm liking that. Oh my god, jeez. That was close. That was real close. They just they just focus fired on us. You gonna think this game isn't even about particularly sad sons. Yeah, they might be crying for joy. Never know. They could be happy for other reasons. Alright. That was that was a somewhat scary fight. Repair our hull. Buy all four of the fuel they have available. 
How much do I need to get another 450? I'm definitely going to sell some stuff. Mark one boomer, sell it. Mark one boomer, probably going to sell it. Just the Mark two boomers for me, thank you very much. Don't need to buy anything else. Got six fuel. There we go. All right, big frigate. You show up when we start. Nano drones for disruption. And then three Mark II boomers. Got Divinity 2? Nice. Got 48 scrap left. Nothing left to buy in the shop. If there are upgrades, I doubt I can afford them. Yep. Man, we might end this with, like, fully maxed out everything. Especially if I start working on heat capacitors. I want another hull bar. That'll be the next thing I upgrade. Alright. There's a quest marker. We want to make sure we make it to this one. So I could pretty much go anywhere I want. They all will allow me to get there as long as if I am here or here, I go up at that point. Kind of like in this middle row. Lots of shops, anomalies along the way. Decent numbers of planets. Yeah. What's that X? Ground signal. Abandoned auto factory. Eject a cryopod. Like, up is interesting, but up is a very limited choice range. Eject a cryopod. Alright, we also have a nice cryopod there. I'm gonna take the middle route. Just straight across to the boss. Upgrading as we go. Hope it doesn't confuse you like you assume it will. You can always uh, play with uh, Jimmy and Ponty and Muds and Krath. They all have that. And I keep battleships here. Well, it was. I don't know what you would call it now. I'm picking up a high solar particle level. Flare from the sun must have hit it. We step on that ship or try to scrap it and we'll become heavily charged too. Now we push on. Let some brain dead scrapper get zapped instead. Bomber. Just the one fuel. It's kind of a letdown. Alright, let's hit an anomaly first. Sir, can I have a word with you? Of course, Captain. What is it? Sir, I'm a little worried about my pilots. They're still rusty on their deployment formation. I've been working on them a lot lately, but they still don't have it down like they should. <coughs> <coughs> there might be a keys around here. Today was supposed to be an off day for them. It's an Oberon day, after all. With your permission, I'd like to do some more training. Hmm... I mean, we're trying to restore the Empire, right? And Oberon is like kind of our, our deity almost when you get right down to it. Some long-lived immortal man who formed the Empire. And this is Oberon Day, apparently a very important holiday. I feel like preserving that kind of stuff is important. So I'm going to give them off the day as promised. Give them the day off, Captain. They've been working hard lately. We don't need disgruntled crew on our hands. Of course, sir! Sir, the pilots today the day off. A little too much, in fact. When I went down to the hangar this morning, I found a puddle Neo N by one of our units. Looks like some genius turned and left a pump on last night. If these really are the Empire's best, no wonder we're in trouble now. Well, fuck you guys very much, all right? I respected you and the things you hold dear, and this is what you do to me? Two Neo N, you pricks? 
Lesson fucking learned. Ah, uh, player battleship! I don't want any trouble, Admiral, so I suggest we just go our separate ways. Getting a separate incoming transmission, sir, appears to be coming from that station. Don't want him out of your sight. That's Killam Berez. He's been stealing from our ships and stations for years. We have a squadron here that's doing nothing but collecting dust. It's yours if we dash that pirate. Free squadron? You know, there's a reason I've lasted as long as I have. I only start fights I can win, and this isn't one of them. So whatever he's offering you, I'll double it if you turn around right now. We have a deal? Tough call, Admiral. What do you want to do? I mean, here's the thing. As Gomper pointed out, pirates should only engage in fights they know they could win. I respect this guy for knowing he can't win it. I'll take two squadrons, thank you very much. It was a squadron where I changed my mind. Excellent decision. I knew you were a smart man. Let's just hope the crew understands that you've done this to protect them in battle. Fuck the crew! I can't believe it. You don't deserve to be an admiral. Bye. Message from Chief. Squadron checks out, sir. Also looks like the crew hasn't reacted negatively to this, so... Decision like that, I was preparing for the worst. Drone Mark III Crafter, Cruiser Mark III Protector, 90 Scrap. Fuck... That noise. Those people wasted two of my fuels. All right, there's a shipyard where I almost certainly will be able to buy fuel, so... I'm gonna take a risky maneuver here and go to one more system. Crafter, crafter is lit? Let's replace uh, one of my boomers here with the new craft. Oh my god, look at this thing, it's huge. Cruiser Mark III Protector. Add one absorb shield to each adjacent friendly unit. Interesting. Whoops. Forgot I was also here to look at my new crafter. Create a patch to temporary crafted drone Mark 1 that will disappear at the end of the fight. Taking damage or attacking. Put it on there, just see what it does. And then instead of my other guys, let's put this on here. Because that looks cool. You brought the energy? <laughs> Thank god you brought that energy. Every 20 seconds you get a drone. Interesting. Alright, I'm gonna go to one random planet here. Should we go to Gatrix X19? Or Gastrix GS 237? Which planet? Someone in chat, choose one for me. That way I can blame you if it goes wrong. The hope is that we get fuel out of whatever we go to, but otherwise we're just gonna buy every drop of fuel they have at the next location. Pawnee says 237. Alright, I'm trusting you, Pawnee. Incoming transmission. Visit our little station. It'll be worth your time. I promise. Well, <laughs> well that was strange. Attempt to contact the station again. Get back in touch with that station, Ozu. Call, sir. Sorry, sir, no luck. The station's no longer responding. We want to talk to that man. We'll have to do it in person. What do you want to do about the station, Admiral? Fine. Four commandos go in there. Lean, take a team and check it out. Got it, sir. Sir, it turns out the station used to be a maximum security omni run prison. People living here, they're it's former prisoners. And they're armed, sir, heavily. The leader's a mysterious tattooed man named Carpenter. He's the one who sent us the transmission. I got a bad feeling if we make the wrong move and upset Carpenter, they're gonna start shooting. And if they do, it's gonna be like shooting monkeys in a barrel. And it's us who's gonna be the monkeys. Asked to speak to Carpenter. Put Carpenter on. Just a second, sir. Admiral Idaho, is it? I've never spoken to a noble before. What an honor. P 
Pardon the convicts of their crimes. Ask what Carpenter wants. What do you want, Carpenter? You asked me to visit your station, and I have. Want? Why do you think I want anything? I have everything I need here. Don't worry, Admiral. Your troops are in good hands here. Pardon the convicts of their crimes. I can grant you and your other prisoners a pardon. As a Grand Admiral, I have that power. Pardon? We don't need a pardon. You know why we don't need a pardon. Because we've done nothing wrong. Nah, you aren't here to give us a pardon. You're here to be sentenced. And I sentence your troops to death, Admiral. Execution by firing squad. Ah, oh, what a bunch of assholes. Minus four, dudes. Made it back to the shuttle. Some of us, anyway. I don't get it, sir. Everything was fine, then Carpenter just suddenly opened fire. Should have never visited that station, sir. What in the name of Oberon were we thinking? <coughs> well, poo. Let's go buy some fuel and buy some new mooks. Thanks a lot, Pawnee. You sent those men to die. <laughs> A church battleship, sir! Oh, thank Oberon, an Imperial ship! You're, you're only a child. I am. Everyone on this ship is, Admiral. <laughs> How can I help? <coughs> We're being pursued by other church ships. They know about us now. You can help us by bringing us aboard, Admiral. By defending and transporting us to a planet where we'll be free to think and act as we wish. We know of such a planet not far away. You can put on your star map. We have scrap. Have to pay for the ride. We're begging you. Have a specialist talk to the children. Lieutenant, talk to these children. I think they might be hiding something. On it, sir. Hello. Who are you? I'm your liaison officer. I'm here to help you and the other children transition to life on board the NS Odysseus. Oh, good. So he's, he's going to let us on the ship. <coughs> <coughs> Everything's going according to plan. I'm so sorry to hear about all you've been through. Just terrible. The good news is the NS Odysseus is a tolerant way of always of thinking. Mm, great, I guess. It is great. Personally, I believe the Omnis are the true gods and wait for the devout in the Garden of Light and Metal. Y you do? Oh, yes. And though my heathen shipmates don't share the same convictions, still... They're respectful of my beliefs. Get off the ship. What? I said get off the ship and tell the other believers to do the same. But leave the others behind. They will bathe in the fires. Do you understand me, fellow believer? Oh, I understand. I'll tell them immediately. Praise the Omni-Gods. Praise the Omni-Gods! It's always weird when a company doesn't participate in the Steam sales. It is, right? I haven't looked at the sale yet, because it just started today, and I immediately started streaming today. So I've spoken to the child, Captain. It seems they have something planned for the ship. What do you mean? I'm not sure, sir. Suffice to say, it's something bad. Something definitely bad. <laughs> Goodbye, children. <laughs> See you in hell. Ozu, signal code red! Code red, sir? What for? We're gonna attack their ship. No, more than that, we're going to destroy them. Hey, sure, are you feeling all right? These sweet, innocent children were planning on attacking us, Lieutenant. Then we take them prisoners, sir. I have the feeling they aren't the kind to let you. You're not going to let us on your ship, are you, Admiral? You lied to me. Smart, Admiral. We wanted to get on that battleship to hurt you. But since we can't do that... We'll just have to do the next best thing and destroy your ship in battle. Death to all Imperials! Praise the Omnicons! Fuck kids. Oh, I'm out of fuel. I hope there's a shop when we're done here. When did it become common practice for apps to demand you log in before you are able to uninstall them? That's why I don't go through uninstallers anymore. I just, like, obliterate them with, uh programs that are designed to remove programs. An uh, anti-battleship battery. I, uh... I would like that to be mine.
Bum, 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 bum. All right, frigate. <clears throat> Go right for their stupid weapons. I want you guys to get in here and start capturing that. I want you go after their squads. You go after the squads. You go after Hull. Immediately just shooting at me, you bastards. They gonna ignore me and just fly on past? Oh, they wanna die, I guess. Yeah, they're turning around like, oh fuck, we might wanna blow this thing up. Go ahead and make parasites. Make my nano drones, make some boomers. You leave those alone! I have not actually played Dishonored 2. I really like Dishonored 1, so it's weird that I never took the time to sit down and play 2. Okay, yeah, you can shoot my ship all you fucking want. It's not gonna help you when... my very large frigate does this. Bye! I love that stupid thing. Alright, get in there and capture that thing. You... and you... Get to those locations. Bring back my cruiser. And give me the shredder. Shredder! Shoot that. No weapons for you. Here, capture this thing. I want it. Go. Actually, you go there. You really like the first one? You even like the DLC? You usually do the don't kill people endings and you fucked up and killed someone at the end of the level? I should do Dishonored 2 at some point. That'd be a fun game. All right, I've never captured one of these stupid things before, so I'm excited to see what happens. Go in there again. I think we'll get through this without losing a level of hull. Which would be nice. What are you doing just sitting there? Get in there! And my shredders. Some fighters. And give me some frigates. Straight to the hull, everybody. Choose a thing, shoot it. Before their weapon comes online and does damage to it. Two more bullets should do it. There it is. Bye, children! Not all your children are like that, are they? No, I haven't had a chance to really sit down and check out the Chaos Ocarina of Time ROM. Thinking about it because it's pretty cheap, on the other hand, Cyberpunk is very similar. It's also definitely one non-lethal execution where I'm just like, yeah, I would rather die than this. That happens a few times. It punishes you for using the coolest abilities in the game. How do you mean? 
You don't attack with the crafter, you just let it, like, make drones, right? I was using it to capture the thing, and then I figured toward the end, just... It had two hit points left, so I just threw everything at it. That one fuel. Well, let's, let's make sure I'm going to the right place. You're the shop, right? Shipyard? Yes. Go to the shipyard. Let's buy some... Buy some fuel. Thank the machines you're here. This ship is trying to siphon Neo and off our station. Uh, second incoming... Second incoming transmission, sir. Don't believe a word she says. I saw they were low on fuel, so I was trying to give them some of mine is all. I know the Omni shut down, but we could still be kind to one another, can't we? I wonder what this guy is worse at, telling the truth or stealing Neo N. Let's arrest him and put him in the brig. Captain, go get our friend and put him in the brig. That should sober him up. Aye, aye, sir! Sir, we put him in the brig. Had quite the little setup on a ship. Guy's been making Neo N rock gut for years. Who said science was dying? Goes by the name of Vaughn, sir. What it's worth, he says he's met you once. He's most likely never met the original me, but I'll pay him a visit nevertheless. I'm interested in what he has to say. I wouldn't believe a word that he says, Admiral. He's clearly unstable. I'll keep that in mind, machine. You get the bad ending if you decide to use the special super awesome takedown you acquired a minute ago, or the new ability which allows you to turn him into an enemy, making everyone go aggro on you. Every enemy death counts toward a bad outcome slash ending. Interesting. Are you aware of that at the start of the game, or is that one of the things where it's like, haha, gotcha? I don't believe it. It is you, Admiral. I don't know as I live and breathe. And why wouldn't I be? Because you died, uh, or so I believed until now. I think you punish people because there's a good reason to, not because they wanted to have fun. Uh, this guy wasn't having fun. He was doing... Oh, you're talking about the game. Like, punishing people in the game for using abilities. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I don't like it when a game punishes you for using the mechanics they give you. And it's like, look at all these cool toys we made you! How dare you use those! Bad! It's like... You, you, you made them. You gave them to me. I'd rather if a game's like, you know, here, you can make a moralistic choice, and the path you go down is determined by that. That's fine. Like, if, if I torture and murder characters in the game, give me the bad ending because I did bad things. Don't, don't punish me for using the tools you give me for carrying out the story you want me to carry out. <coughs> <coughs> Ask how he knows me. My captain tells me we met once. You wouldn't remember me, Admiral. I wasn't highly ranked. You were in the fleet? You know, he's a drunk. Yes, many years ago, the first fleet. I was discharged, always had a problem with the drink. Anderson Vaughn, I flew the Hyperion too. Man, that was a long time ago. I have a sneaking suspicion you have other questions too. And tell me, why is it you believe me dead? Uh, surely you've heard the story yourself, Admiral. The story? Yes, but I'd like to hear your version. There are so many. Well, um, again, you're a uh, planet in the House Kosh beyond uh, sectors. Uh, there, there existed a, a group of people called the Survivalists. And incomprehensible as it is, these people believe the Empire would be better off without the Omnis. Uh, crazy talk, I uh, know, I mean, I don't worship the things, but the idea that we'd be better off without them is just plain wrong. Uh, after years of abuse at the hands of House Kosh Bundia, their numbers down to only a few thousand, they, they knew they had to fight back or be wiped off the stars. So after years of secretly amassing weapons and resources, they rebelled one day. 
Uh, twenty years ago, six before the shutdown, House Kosh Bundier never saw it coming. After quickly overwhelming local troops and destroying local armies, who, limited by the Rubicon, were unable to defend themselves, they shut down the local folder. Oberon, rightfully fearing these terrorists, fearing they might attack other planets, sent you and Vice Admiral Oken Onkonkwo to squash the rebellion and protect his subjects. But because the folder was down, it took you and your battleship five years to reach Ganmia from Elysium. By the time you arrived, the survivalists were ready for you. More than ready. They had turned Ganmia into a veritable war machine. You asked for the surrender, but it was useless. They weren't going to back to the way things were before. To their way of thinking, they were finally free. They had finally secured a future for themselves. An Unconquo attacked, but soon discovered your few ships were outmatched by theirs. Then, Admiral, you made the open sacrifice. You ordered the other ships to stockpile their makers of darkness, Telos nukes, on a single ship, your ship. Unconquo begged you not to do it, but you knew it had to be done for Oberon, for the good of the Empire. And alone, you crashed your ship in Nagamia, setting off an immense chain reaction vitrifying those terrorists and saving the Empire at the same time. The rebellion had been put down, but not without a cost. Back home in Elysium, your death was mourned by hundreds of thousands, and Oberon, with the eye of the Empire upon him, proclaimed you the greatest hero the Empire had ever known. But now... Now I know it's all untrue. You didn't die. You survived, Gamya. But why, Admiral? Why were we told the story in the first place? Confess you don't know this story. To be honest, this is the, uh... It's fine, Admiral. I don't expect you to tell me what really happened. How could you? Kind of above my pay grade. I'm no longer even a member of the fleet. Sometimes I wish I still was, though. Sometimes I wish I was still fighting for all that's good and all that remains. But no offense, I don't think the fleet, not even with the greatest Admiral of all time leading it, could save us now. I believe these truly are our final days. Tell me more about House Kosh Bundia. Next to House Telos, they're probably the most powerful house in all the Empire. That or House uh, K Akibara Sung. The Koshes have existed since the beginning. Seems they never had enough power, not for their taste anyway. Their abhorrence for the old man was no secret. After all, he's had them and House Ass under their thumb for centuries. There are rumors the Koshes have made several attempts in this life throughout the decades, though nothing's ever been proven. Most are going to go for the 100% stealth playthrough first, and then the second is going to be a chaotic mess. If I play, I'll promise you it'll be a chaotic mess first. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me one bit if House KB had something to do with the shutdown. A lot of houses. I'm more curious about that other Admiral they told me about. What about Vice Admiral on Conquo? Well, you hear a couple of stories about him. One is that he was your best friend, your right-hand man, your lover, your bosom buddy, your butt buddy, your friend with all the benefits, you know, all that good stuff. Always has been since your days at the Academy together. The other is that he was very jealous of you. He said you were always Oberon's favorite, the golden one, the chosen child, the best boy, the good friend, the, the top grip. Ace in the same. Me, I don't know which story to believe. Then again, I'm not much for gossip, know what I mean? What I like to do instead is get drunk and hit up the space casinos. Now that's a good time. Anyway, knowing Vice Admiral Conquo as you do, only you know the truth, Admiral. Right, only I know the truth there. I won't keep a four Admiral soldier as a prisoner. If you stay out of trouble, not steal anymore, you're free to go. Hey, Grandma, that's kind of you, but, uh, you mind if I say something before I go? Go ahead. One thing kind of strikes me funny when I think back to the time I met you. You like non-laid-back games in theory, but not in practice. I like games that reward you for experimentation, for playing with mechanics in ways that you might not initially expect, and only punish you in story regards. Like, again, if you're playing a game where you're supposed to be a virtuous... 
a savior of the people, but then you go around bashing people in the face and being a dick. Like, I would like the story to punish you in that regard. I don't like it when a game gives you a bunch of tools and then says half these tools are for bad boys, and you'll get the bad ending if you play with those tools. It's like, you, you gave me the tools, and they're fun, and I want to use them. So it's always annoying if I'm punished for using the mechanics. Instead, punish me for how I use the mechanics. <coughs> and what's that? You have an H1 bit. How could that be? Oh, it's just the darkness in your Vaughn to place tricks on the eyes. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, Goat Simulator is just an adorable sandbox. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Ooh, the Impaler. Fire projectile doing 20 damage to the enemy battleship, no matter the distance. 133, huh? <clears throat> I like my giant drill. I might sell the Cruiser Mark III, the Protector. It's okay, but like, our whole deal is blowing our boats up in front of people. So it doesn't seem that useful. I'll sell that so I could buy the Impaler instead. The Space Bender's been pretty nice, being able to move ships quickly forward. This only affects two cells, which... I'll sell that. And buy some more fuel. Anything else I want to sell? It'll be nice to have a Mark IV thing for a change. I have a lot of cheap garbage here. Alright, what we got going on? 